Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Disc and welcome back to Pattern School. This is going to be a new video series where we're going to explore how to give your survival worlds a little bit of that extra flair. Today, I'm really excited because we got a new design ready for you. I've designed this 18th century stagecoach to be as friendly to uh, survival players as possible. And you only need to chop down a few trees to actually get all the materials necessary for it. So, get yourselves comfortable, grab all your materials, and let's get started. So jumping into survival mode, let's take a look at the materials that we need for this. This right here is all that we need to actually build the stagecoach. It's actually pretty short. The one thing we're missing though is a piece of wool, which... Okay, where'd the sheep go? Okay, I did... <laughs> okay, uh... Where... Oh, now that we got all the materials, we're going to uh, first start off all the parts that we need for the stagecoach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, four oak logs here, and we're gonna take one dark oak log there. Next, we're gonna craft the log into some planks, and we're gonna craft these logs into planks as well. We're going to make uh, sticks into these. We're gonna use all the planks for sticks, uh, and you should in total have uh, 40 sticks with you. Okay, now we're gonna grab the rest of the logs from the chest, and we are going to break all these down into planks. So once you have crafted all the logs into the planks, you're going to go into the crafting table. You're going to make these materials out of them. You can pause the video right now and come back when you get all the materials ready. Um, I'm going to go and craft them myself and we'll meet back. Okay, let's get started. For the first layer, we're going to build the chassis. How, here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to grab our two fences and we're going to place them in a line like this. Next, we're going to take our oak trap doors and we're going to place them on the side. Just like this. One and two. Next, we're going to take our spruce fence gates and we're going to place them so they're facing uh, sort of to the side of the fences. So we're going to place them like this and like that. Great. Next, we're going to take our dark oak slabs and we're gonna place two right on the side of the fences. So we've got one, two, there we go. Behind the slabs, we're gonna place our dark oak trap doors. We're gonna place two right here, and then we're gonna take our fence gates and we're gonna have two of them facing this way. So we're gonna have one and two, just like that. Next, we're gonna have our last two oak trap doors and we're gonna place them on the side, just like we did with the fences. So we're gonna place one here, flip that up, and place one there, and flip that one up. After we got the wheels set up. We're going to take uh, two fence gates and we're going to place them right there and right here. After we place the fence gates down, we're going to take our spruce signs and we're going to go onto the trapdoor and aim towards the lip and place it while we're crouching. We're just going to leave it blank right there and we're going to do the same thing, shifting and clicking on the trapdoors and then we're going to do hit the lip again just like that. So. When you do all those steps, your chassis should be looking something like this. Let's move on to the next layer. For the next layer, we're going to start at the dark oak slabs. We are going to hop up onto the chassis, and we're going to place two doors so that they're facing inwards. So we're going to line ourselves on the block like this. We're going to place a door like so, sort of getting to the end. So when we open it up, it should swing inside, just like that. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn around. We're going to go up to the middle and we're going to place one just like that. So the door should swing inside like this. We're going to take our, we're going to take our stairs and we're going to make the seats. So we're going to have two stairs on the trap doors. I'm shifting and I'm placing them like that. And I'm going to do the same for the fences. I'm not going to open them. I'm going to shift and I'm going to place one, two, just like that. Now, once we got this done, we're going to take our spruce trap doors and we're going to make little armrests on these on these seats. We're going to place one like that, flip that up. We're going to place one here and flip that up too. We're going to do the same on this side. Place, flip, place, and flip. Nice. So next we're going to take our dark oak stairs. We're going to go to the back of our seats. We're going to place them. We're going to aim to the top lip on the plank and we're going to place it like that and that so that the stairs should be facing that way. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. We're going to go with this and there. Perfect. So last but not least for this layer, we're going to take uh, two dark oak trap doors and we're going to shift and we're going to place them on the door just like this so that we have a little stepping stool. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So when we, we can open it up, we can go inside 
And when we're done, we can close the door and we can flip this up so it's flush on the wall, just like that. Now, there, if you look up pictures of uh, stagecoaches, that there are a lot of um, open tops and you could replace these doors with fence gates. You can have the carriage just like this. For this design, it's gonna be a closed carriage. So we're gonna have a third layer that we're gonna add on top. But before we get on to the third layer, we have to do uh, two things. First is we have to have a place for our horses to stay. So we're gonna take our last two spruce fence gates and then we're going to shift and we're gonna aim to the middle of the stair and we're gonna place the, so we're gonna place the gate so that it's facing forward. It shouldn't look like this. It should be facing this way. So once we got that, we're gonna do the same thing again. Perfect. Next, we're gonna use our we're gonna use some dark oak science. And we're gonna add some extra texture to it. We're gonna place one on the stair like this. We're gonna place one on the stair like that. We're gonna do the same on this side in the other side. So we're going to do it here and we're just, we're just placing signs down to add a little shape to it. Next we're going to hop into the chassis and we're going to move on to the third layer. Now the third layer is a bit is a bit tricky but doing a little parkour skills and some shifting around should be no problem. So we're going to shift, we're going to aim to the top of the door, we're going to place one slab like that, we're going to place another slab like that. Perfect. So we're going to go onto this side, we're going to do uh, three in the back, so it's three blocks long. Hop down. We're going to take our last oak trap doors and we're going to put them uh, on the bottom just like that. So it should look like this. Next, we are going to take our dark oak stairs and we're going to place them upside down like so. That will be the back window. Next, we are going to take our dark oak slabs. We're going to place them uh, on top of the upside down stairs right here, and we're going to take our remaining dark oak signs, we're going to place them on the slabs. I'm just left clicking the sides and printing done, just like this. Now, take that one bit of wool and we're going to make a painting out of it. So this is the, this is the crucial bit of the stagecoach and it makes it closed. So we're going to open it up, we're going to shift on the slab, and we're going to place a painting, right, just like that. Um, you can choose whichever one you want. So with our remaining four spruce trap doors, we're going to fill in these one block holes. So I'm going to just place one here and one there. I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to break the one that's on top. Just like this. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to place, place, flip, then break. Again, on this side, I'm going to place, place, oh, then place right. I'm going to place that, then I'm going to flip it. Last one. I'm just going to take a temporary block, and with this temporary block, I'm going to go onto the trapdoor. I'm going to place it there, and I place our last spruce trapdoor in. Grab this temporary block, put it back, and there we go. Now, this is a totally functioning stage code. You can go inside, you can sit down, uh, you can see the beautiful exteriors. But if you want to add a little bit extra detail, you can get yourself a horse. So we're going to take one of our horses, we're going to hop onto it, we're going to ride it over to the carriage. Now, this is a trick I found to make sure that the horse doesn't uh, wander wander off the carriage, so this is why we place it, the fences here. So we're going to open these up, just like so. We're going to run our horse inside, we're going to spin around, and then we're going to look for the black box on the gate, we're going to close them in. This, this way, the horse's hitbox is actually stuck in between two fence gates and it can't move. It can spin around but it doesn't move. Um, so next we're going to take our lead and we're just going to put it on one of the fences there. Once you've done that, you've built the stagecoach. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you ever build this in survival, survival, please leave a comment. I'm actually really interested to know if uh, you guys uh, build this in your own worlds. Um, if you found this helpful and you want to see more, uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, this is my first real building video. So any sort of support would be much, would be really appreciated. Um, I'm really happy with this design and I hope you are too. So thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.